This is tutorial 69, and it covers how to make multiple configurations within your assembly. Now to start off, open up the axle configuration and the wheel configuration, which is located on the DVD. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to make multiple configurations in, in our assembly of the wheel on the axle. So we're going to make one that the wheel is on the left, the center, and the right. So to start off, let's open up a brand new assembly file. Let's click File, click New, click Assembly, click OK. Now let's view the origin, click View, click Origin, and click the axle configuration, and let's put it onto the origin. Now let's insert the wheel, click Insert, click Wheel, and let's put it to the left. Now let's make a couple mates. Let's mate this face and the top face, make them coincident, click OK, and let's make this face and this face, and also make them coincident. Now what we've done is we've made this wheel concentric to that axle. Click OK. Now click the Configuration Manager right-click Assembly 2 Configurations and click Add Configuration. Now let's make one, we'll call it Left, click OK, right-click, click Add Configuration, let's call one Center, click OK. Now right-click again, click Add, and we'll make one called Right. Click OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one at the left, one at the center, and one at the right. So to do this, let's start off with the one at the left. So let's double click it. Let's go back into the feature manager. And now let's make a mate. Let's click mate, click this face, click this face, click OK. Click accept. Now go back to the configuration manager, double click the right, Go back into the Feature Manager, click Mate, and let's mate this face to this face, click OK, click OK. Go back to the Configuration Manager, click Center, and now let's click Mate, click this face, click this face, and this time we'll do a distance, and let's make this distance, let's try 70. And that's pretty much in the center. Click OK. Click OK. And now when we click the left, it'll be at the left. When we click the right, it's going to be at the right. When we click the center, it's going to be in the center. When we click default, it's also going to be in the center. Now let's look at this. Double click on your left. Go into the feature manager. Open up the mates. And you can see that only three mates are used and the other two are not. Go back into the Configuration Manager, double-click right, click the Feature Manager, open up the mates, and you can see only this mate is used to create the right configuration. Go back in to the Configurations, double-click Center, click the Feature Manager, open up the mates, and you can see that these three are used, the highlighted ones. So this allows you to make multiple configurations within one assembly. So with your one assembly, you'll have a left position, a right position, and a center position. And this concludes our tutorial on how to make multiple configurations within an assembly.